This challenge is just blowing my mind right now. That so guys, I have great news. I, I'm really happy with the listings I got up on my Etsy shop. I am so tired with zero sales, zero reviews. This is like wild. I did not think I was going to get sales. Today is day two of the challenge. I opened up my email and I, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do my challenge, right? Then I opened up my email and I was just like, oh my gosh, there's so many emails. Today is supposed to be my off day. I was literally just gonna do my challenge and then kind of do my own thing today. I will say that I am so grateful for this new role and I'm just very thankful for where I am in my life. That email is the bane of my existence because it could have been much worse. So yeah, I'm just thankful that this is my job. So I'm gonna stop complaining and get to work. Uh, that's what I should do. So I'm gonna allow myself to work for maybe an hour to two hours and then stop there. That's, that's my plan for today. I have to review my PowerPoints for the challenge. So I'm gonna do that. I am officially done reviewing my slide decks. I did my email. I have still five listings to create. So right now I have my laptop. I'm gonna go for 30 minutes, create these listings, get that done. I walked a mile and a half today already. I have my to-do list that I'm looking at. So this is my to-do list. I got this off of Amazon, it is my best purchase by far. I already have one thing crossed out. I said I'd create five social media posts, but I'm probably not gonna end up doing that. I feel like I'm already like decided that I'm not gonna do that today because what's really important is those five listings. So those are main ones. Again, this was supposed to be my off day, but I ended up doing email and work stuff today, but I'm really happy with these slide decks I created. I think they're very informational. They're very educational to someone who is new to Etsy and print on demand. So I'm really happy I made that. I am going to put a 30 minute timer on and get five listings done in 30 minutes. I have my design template that I think I want to go with. So I'm just gonna, get it done and yeah officially i am done for the day only took me let's see one hour and 11 minutes we can rewind back to where i said i would do five listens in 30 minutes i'm um, going to put a 30 minute timer on i did not do that i made five listings in a different product so it took a little bit for me to learn how to do the mock-ups i had to do some new seo research that i haven't done before so i did all that so i'm gonna mark on this that I did five listings on day two. And yeah, so slowly trailing along, we'll see if I get any sales during these next 30 days, if I keep uploading like this. I have really zero sales on the shop, zero anything. I haven't really had, I had one view and it was probably me. Challenge day number three, going to the gym right now. Then I have a meeting at 9 30 a.m so i have to basically go to the gym run home get ready then i have a meeting at 11 a.m as well meeting pack day then i need to do my five listings a really fun time though i'm really happy that i have all these meetings in my life because that means that i'm doing something right so gotta get to the gym first then get ready for the morning So this is a really exciting training that we are going over today, which is the Research and Niche 101 workshop. Whew. I just got done with my call and getting more water because it is going to be a day. I am re-recording my print on demand crash course today. I have a giveaway I have to record for as well. Uh, and then after the giveaway, after the print on demand crash course, I am done for the day, but it's probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be, oops, sorry, I like burped during that. It's probably gonna be a few hours of more filming to do, but then I am done for the day, done for the week. Basically, I have a Printify medium, the medium. I have a Printify meeting tomorrow to go over my webinar that I'm doing next week. I have my five listings to create today as well. I almost forgot about that. I am so tired after like midway through the day, I have like excessive amounts of energy in the morning. I go work out, I come home, I drink my coffee, I eat my breakfast. Then I do either a live coaching call or some type of meeting, maybe I'll film. And then after 12 p.m., noon, 1 p.m., my energy just crashes and I am like dead. For lunch, I'm gonna have my Dave's Killer Bread English Muffin. So I'll have this, I'll put some strawberry on that.
So I got my English muffins. I am going to take a break. Today was a rough day. I've been in meetings all day today since I woke up. I did a live call and I had done it today. After dinner, I ended up doing my five listings. I ended up working on my shop for almost an hour to two hours when I began. And I think I created designs that are going to sell, but we'll see. Still zero sales, zero views. It's definitely gonna be time to get traffic to my shop at some point. I am looking to run ads after I get more listings up. We'll see how this Etsy journey goes. So I just wanna also say this week has been extremely, extremely busy and I feel like I just feel a lot of stress. It's Thursday and usually Thursdays I'm pretty relieved from my stress, but today is just one of those days that I've just been in my email all day. I've been doing the Etsy listing creation. It's been fun, but it just feels like I'm running and I'm not seeing results in anything lately. And I don't know why that is and not I know with the Etsy new shop, it's not, I'm not going to see results for a little bit. I'm just doing so much every single day, but it, it just feels like I'm not moving the needle in my business. You know, my YouTube business is one business with coaching and consulting, and then my Etsy shop's another business, but it feels like everything's just been stagnant as of recently, and I feel like I want to shift and change and transform into the person that I want to be in a year, and in a few years, and I don't know what that is yet. I feel like I have a good grasp of where I wanna be, but I don't know, I sound crazy right now. Sometimes it's okay to not know where you're going. I guess I'm filming this just because if you feel like you're in the same spot, that's okay, especially when you're working at home or own your own business. I have seven different ways I've made an income online at this stage in my life and I'm 26 years old, which is insane, but I still don't know exactly where my trajectory is and I think that's okay that's a valid thought and I'm grateful for the friends I have in my life I Marco Polo my friend Cassie and Jenny and Angel shout out to them if they're watching but I absolutely love these people they are the people who inspire me and keep me grounded and I think that's the most important thing is to have people who raise you up and don't tear you down and I can't say enough how happy I am to meet these incredible people online. Anyways, that's just me late night rambling after this long day, but I am grateful for all the people I get to meet and all the people I've been able to inspire and motivate. That's what I've always wanted in my life is to inspire, motivate, educate. Those are my passions in life. And if I'm able to do that to with hundreds of people, that is in and of itself rewarding to me and I feel accomplished in that. That's it. That's it for day three of this challenge. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this is going to be episodes or if I'm just going to mash all this together and cut it. We'll find out. We'll find out. Thanks future me for editing this video or whoever's editing. I don't know. Will I edit my own video? We'll find out. We'll find out. I am literally speed doing these listings. I kid you not, I just did five different designs at once. Okay, we're gonna get it almost done. Uh, my mom is almost also here, so. <laughs> Pause for a second just to explain context here. So on day four, I went wedding dress shopping with my mom. She picked me up from Chicago and we went to Indiana. And before that, I knew I needed to get my listings done or else I would not do them that day. So I did do the listings prior to leaving within 20 20 minutes it was a record-breaking amount of time that I finished my listings that day eh, fun times so update my shop has one total view one visit I think all time let's look at the all time so nine total views eight visits since I've started and I'm pretty sure all these visits are me. Today, I just started running ads for $25 a day. That's the highest 
it would allow me to do. So I have 22 listings at $25 a day. Wish me luck. So guys, it is day five of the challenge. I uploaded literally, I think like 15 different listings. I got so inspired today and today's kind of like my off day for my usual working hours with doing coaching, consulting, filming videos, doing one-on-ones, all of that. So I uploaded 10 plus listings. I'll show you guys here um, how many listings I have. 40 listings. I have now 12 views. I literally have been viewing my store and I edited my banner today. I uploaded one social media post today about this new shop. So I'm starting social media again, just posting listings. We're gonna see how this goes. It's going to be just a waiting game. So as far as the listings I have uploaded and don't mind me, I'm like still in a bathrobe because I literally have not moved out of this chair since I've been so inspired. I've just been like, well, time to just make listings and not move. So that's what I did today, but anyway, outside of me just noting that I'm wearing a bathrobe. Um, <laughs> this is just <laughs> just my daily life, how I live, no makeup, just in a bathrobe, you know, that, that's just the life we live now. Anyways, um, I'm doing ads now in my store. This is the first time I've ever launched listings and I'm just doing ads. So I'm excited to show the progress with that. Usually I use organic traffic methods, but this time around, I really want to prioritize doing different types of traffic gain and launching a shop. I do have a lot of experience, hence why I feel confident running my ads this time around. The last time I ran ads when I first started my shop, I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't know if my listings would sell. I don't have any shop reviews or sales still, so it's just gonna be hard for my shop to kind of grow. Again, it's a game of waiting. It's a game of patience. If we're playing the long-term game, we have to be patient. I'm so happy to start, I think, this is going to skyrocket much faster than my other shops, especially with the different products that I'm selling for once. I've never sold a lot of these products before, so I'm just excited to see where the shop goes. So I am on a walk after uploading the listings. It feels really great to walk outside. I always found in a lot of articles stating that walking at least 10 minutes a day can boost your happiness levels, so hence why I try to walk every day that I can. Outside of that, I'm gonna walk my mile and then that's pretty much it for today. I'm really happy with the listings I got up on my Etsy shop. I'm still getting used to walking and talking to a phone outside. I think it's really funny still because I never said I was gonna be a vlogger and now I'm like vlogging. Anyways, time to just walk and enjoy nature. So guys, I have great news. I was just sitting there and I was like, you know what? I don't know why, but I should just check my stats for my new Etsy shop that I have that I just started running ads on today. And I uploaded 40, uh, I, I'm at 40 listings total for the shop. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go and see how my shop's doing and kind of what happens, I don't know, with my shop. And I was like, I'm not expecting any sales. Like generally speaking, I know from previous experience, if I don't have sales, if I don't have reviews, I generally don't have anything on my shop yet. And I check and I have my first sale on my Etsy store. So guys, I'm going to show you my uh, screen here. So as we can see today, it is May 6th. I have my first sale. The order came from, I'm pretty sure it's the ad I ran because there's no way at this stage. It generally for a store to organically do well, it takes a while. So for one order, I spent $4.63 just for that one order. I have a total, again, of 40 listings, $25 a day on ads. We had 12 clicks, $4.63 to get one sale. That is really good. So next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to just head on to Printify and I'm going to push through and submit my first order. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I feel like I have a new shop all over again where I'm getting that excitement for my new shop and just seeing how it's doing. And it's like, ooh, I got a sale. I'm just so excited. This is so cool. So this person, I pushed the order through. 
Um, I have payment setting issues, so I have to fix my payment setting. I don't have a card connected. Remember to link a card to your account. I really can't wait to see how this week progresses and as I add more listings, how it goes. So let's get it guys. Road to 100 sales and then a few thousand sales. 100K would be awesome to hit this year. Honestly, more than that, I'm going to keep upping my ad spend as much as Etsy will allow me to up it. Anyways, we're gonna hop into fixing the payment details so I can push this first order out. So update on my store, it is officially submitted. Payment issue is fixed, so we are good to go. Alrighty guys, so it is day six. I am drinking my coffee. I am also doing my listings. So I have the designs that I made. I have one design template that I'm basically scaling out this week. So I'm taking it to multiple niches across so many different types of t-shirts. I'm going in with like a very simple design, guys. It's like nothing that crazy. We'll see if I could break through market saturation. So I'm gonna show my screen and show you my progress so far. So as we can see, guys, I have have today six total views and two visits yesterday I had 19 visits 30 total views and one order I am going to pull up my Etsy ad so as we can see I have spent eight dollars with revenue of twenty eight dollars so eight dollars of ad spend isn't bad and as we can see as far as ad spend goes yesterday I only spent five dollars and twenty four cents in ad spend and today I'm at two dollars and seventy nine cents but again I have it at twenty five dollars a day for every day but it's only spending about one fifth to one fourth of that. I feel like today it's gonna spend a little bit more. I noticed that it's really pushing my one sale. So that item that I sold, it's really pushing that item now. Outside of that, I'll show you guys how many hours I've been putting in. So this is my toggle dashboard. This is what I look at for how many hours I'm doing. As far as MISC goes, this is usually me and my email and maybe I'm looking at stats, building things. So this is my usual week in the life on Monday, email, email. I'm in my email quite a bit as you guys can see this is me working on my Etsy shop this is me doing my calls uh, working on Etsy again working on Etsy misc I was working on Etsy as well it's not in there though yesterday I worked on my Etsy shop for five hours as you guys could see by how much hours I put into this you know when you're building a shop I did want to talk about in this series that building a shop does take a lot of time it takes a lot of manual effort at the start I will say that Prior to this week, I was not doing this. Like I was working at my shop, not even one hour. <laughs> so uploading listings does take me on average 30 minutes to an hour to, as you guys could see yesterday when I uploaded 10 plus listings, it took me a few hours because I was researching and studying mockups and I found mockups that I really wanted to use for my shop. That will happen. You will have times when you are spending hours upon hours, but to me, it doesn't feel like work because it's so fun. Like this is my passion project and I do want to say that I think one of the reasons why I have been so successful is because I love designing. This is like my creative outlet. So if this is a creative outlet for you, definitely lean into that. It, you know, making something that you're passionate about into a business is the best thing in the world. And I think that's something that I really love about my Etsy and print on demand business is people like my designs and they end up purchasing. So anyways, um, gonna drink some more coffee just did and <laughs> I'm going to get to creating my five listings so we are just sitting watching 90 day fiance and as I'm sitting there I'm like you know what let me check my new Etsy shop again let's see if I had any sales so I pulled it up and guys guess what I literally could not believe it I looked at my phone and one of the listings that I created not even a few hours ago got bought so now I'm at two orders in this new shop after being a week open now which is really really cool and I'm gonna show you guys on my screen here oh my gosh my screen is so bright 33 total views for today 10 visits one order and this was from the Etsy ads again so yesterday we had the one order last seven days 64 total views 30 visits, 
two orders, that's a really good conversion rate. That's really insane. 6.7% conversion rate. That is insane. So my shop is converting really, really well. And I have no reviews on this shop. This is so insane to me. I'm just like sitting here and I literally cannot believe that I'm already at two sales from doing my 21 day listing challenge. And on top of that, like just running ads, I think ads is the new basic startup point. And also I will say I am on Instagram right now with this new shop too. I'm trying to do Instagram and I'm just posting organically there. I'm posting carousels of just mock-up photos really simple, just running ads. I have good SEO. I have products that I know are different than anything else on Etsy right now. And I'm really leaning into that. That's kind of my strategy is to offer different product types that no one else is offering in niches that it just breaks through market saturation. And I think it's really working because people are probably seeing my shop and being like, I've never seen this type of item before. So let me buy it. I'm also getting boosted organically a little bit too here. So in, I'll show you my stats here. What's really cool is I'm getting some organic views here. I have 15 views organically. And then if we look 12 views through just Etsy ads. So that's pretty good that I have 15 coming from Etsy app and other pages. I think posting five listings a day is just really paying off. I think that's my favorite part of this challenge is literally just doing this with my students and seeing their first sales. And then I'm getting my first sales on this new Etsy shop. And again, I have not announced I'm doing this with them. Literally, I'm just like so excited to announce it. At the end of the challenge, I'm gonna reveal it. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video on it too. And if you're in the challenge and you're watching this video back, I love you so much. Thank you for being a part of this first challenge with me. I think it's such an incredible challenge and congrats to working yourselves off during this challenge because this is not an easy challenge even for me. Like I work at home but this is still hard for me. And I know it's hard for a lot of people who are in the challenge. So congrats to those of you who are in it and we are all grinding together. Zero sales, zero reviews. This is like wild. I did not think I was going to get sales from a shop that literally has no reviews. I thought it would take me a few weeks. Usually the first sale is the hardest, but this challenge is just blowing my mind right now that I'm getting so many sales, literally just posting every day. Like this is, uh, when I initially made my first Etsy shop, I did not post this many listings as quickly as I am now, but the ideas are just flooding to me and I've studied products for so long, right? Like that's all I do in the Print On Demand Academy is I do heavy product research and niche research that I guess this time around, I'm getting orders much quicker and almost in a faster pace because I know how to launch a product, market the product and everything. So it's definitely different this time around, but I'm really excited to share my results on this journey. Exciting stuff. Uh, can't wait to share day number seven and I can't wait to see where we're at on day 21 at the end of this 21 day listing challenge. So I will see you guys in the next day here. So guys, super exciting news. I woke up this morning and I had...